Well, it looks like I'm enjoying a vacation in the middle of ancient Greece right now. I'm actually not. I'm in the middle of 70 high resolution screens in a virtual reality cave at the Qualcomm Institute on the UC San Diego campus. And even cooler, I got to speak to the software developer behind it all. Within this 360 degree structure, a bright digital art piece is bouncing countless color pixels towards me. It's powered by 35 computers. Here we are in the Sun Cave. The Sun Cave is a virtual reality environment that can display a half a billion pixels. And it's with that the highest resolution virtual reality environment on the planet. Jürgen Schulz, the computer scientist who developed the software for this project, says he's pretty sure it is the highest resolution cave in the world because no one has contradicted Qualcomm researchers yet. Schulz says UCSD researchers, or even companies that want to rent out this cave filled with 4K resolution screens, can use it to display data in three-dimensional format. For instance, an excavation site in Israel that was captured with drone technology and can be navigated on the screen through a controller. And at the moment you hold it, um, that's when you start the motion. And then you just slightly move your hand in the direction that you want to fly. And the more you move your hand, the faster you're going to fly. Schultz also shows off a floating hemoglobin blood cell protein that researchers can view in depth and a mock-up for a new student center that he says an architectural firm could use to show a client what it might be like to walk up a flight of stairs. Then you can go up the stairs. Um, you can look at, you know, what do you see when you're up here on the stairs? Is it important that there's something interesting in the background there or not? The point of this data visualization is that it allows the viewer to see more complex data than in a static 2D format. And it's all produced with two computing labs worth of energy and processing power. Though, Schull says, these types of caves aren't new. To render it so just something on the cave walls, it's, that's not that new. That's, the algorithms are the same. It, they just have to be adapted to this particular geometry. But we then developed new algorithms that allowed us to render more points and more higher resolution um, data sets in the space because there's just so much more detail that the displays can produce. The Sun Cave was built about two years ago. It follows Qualcomm's Star Cave, which only supported around 60 million pixels, just 10% of what this cave can render. Shalina Chatlani, KPBS News.